Hi everyone, it's Jessica and this video is going to be my monthly plan with me for the month of March and for this month I wanted to use a kit by Planning World. I just thought this kit was gorgeous and I loved all the fresh florals because that's just kind of what I associate March with. Plus I am really excited that she has multiple of these label stickers. Not many kits have enough for what I need so I am really excited that she has plenty for the month. So I am just just going to get started by putting down the big stickers first. And she has these two larger boxes for the sidebar with goals and notes. So I'm going to put these down. Honestly, the drawings in them are so pretty that I probably wouldn't be won't be writing in them. I just don't want to cover up these little drawings in there with my writing. So I'll probably actually just wind up leaving these blank. But anyway, it has actually already been almost the middle of March. I guess not really the middle. I just feel like I'm behind on it because I spent so long trying to decide which monthly kits I wanted to order that it's already like well into March by the time I got them and can plan. So I am excited to get this though. I think I definitely made the right choice with these, the two that I wound up picking. So in this planner, this is like my main planner and I try to keep the monthly view and the notes pages very functional for me since this is what I refer to on a day daily basis. So in this planner, I like to mark down my work schedule and I love that she includes so many of these labels because this is what I use for my work schedule. And actually, I think it's kind of funny, but I wound up picking up two extra shifts this month. If I hadn't done that, I would have the exact right number of label stickers for work, but I picked up two extra shifts, so now I need to figure out what I should do with those two that I picked up. I might just have to pull in some other stickers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start marking down work though for the rest of this month. You may notice, but I like to try to keep the colors consistent. It doesn't really mean anything, but I think visually it looks nicer to have the same co color in each column. So I'm going to try my best to do that. No guarantees though, and I think the weekends are a little bit up in the air. Um, so I'm going to just fill in the best I can, and then we'll just play around with the weekend days. Okay, so that actually worked out better than I thought. I think I have everything covered for the weekdays and then I'm just gonna go in and maybe use these to fill in some of my weekends. And I think it'll just be like one day that doesn't quite match up with the rest, but I think I'm okay with that. And then I will still need to figure out what to do for the days that I worked overtime because like I said, I had just enough stickers to fill in for my usual work schedule for this week, or this month, I mean. I did also wind up working the fourth and the fifth, and I think I might just go to these stickers. Um, these are from Sugar Paper for the Target collection, and I do really love these label stickers. Like, I wish they sold them individually because I tend not to use the rest of this but I think I'm just going to use these to mark the rest of my work schedule and I think that'll be okay. I guess I was working overtime so I did get paid a little bit extra for these so I guess it's kind of nice to have them look a little bit different. Generally I'm kind of a stickler for making sure everything looks cohesive as you can probably tell by the color coding but yeah that's how I am generally but I you just have to work with what you have sometimes. And I think that still looks fine, so I don't think that'll bother me too much. 
So that is it for work and that is generally the first thing I like to mark in these. The, then I want to go on to my bills. And she has three actual bill due stickers and then a few of these like chunkier. I think they're meant for events but I tend not to mark events in this one. I have a separate monthly planner to kind of mark do some more memory planning you know mark down little events and dinners and such so i think i'm going to use these three bill due stickers for my three credit cards and then i'll use something maybe these to mark down like rent and my phone bill and that sort of thing bit smaller um, these bills are taking up a big chunk of the day so I kind of wish these were a little bit smaller but oh well and then for the rest of my bills I am just going to use the leftover half boxes and just maybe some of the icons to kind of mark what they are And I just snuck in the little payday on the first of the month. Honestly, this day is going to wind up looking so cluttered. Not a huge fan of that, but I will deal with it. So that's it for the big reminders for myself. Now I'm gonna go in and kind of uh, use up some of the rest of the stickers in this sheet. Ugh, I wanna use up the Ash Wednesday, but I think I was this day and I really don't have room. So let's see, I think I'm still marked down the rest of these just so I have them, whoops. So I just went ahead and put down all the date dots. I do like the fact that she gives you the dates for all the days that are not in the month. I skipped on those, but it's kind of nice that she did that. And I also really like that the colors are consistent for each week and that it's not kind of just a different color every day. So that just, that makes me really happy. So let's see what I have left of this kit. I have a ton of icons. I tend not to use that many icons in this spread just because this is meant more for just my functional purposes. Oh, you know what I realized? They have like the little cell phone. I might switch out this icon because I realize she has a little cell phone icon instead that I think works a little bit better. And it's even the same color, so that's nice. Anyway, this is generally all I do for this spread. I like to keep it, I like to keep it very like uncluttered, but I do want to pick out one of the full boxes to put here too, just to block out that day. So I'm gonna do that as soon as I switch out that icon. And I might just use the spring begins, even though spring technically begins, I think it's like, the 20th yeah that's really the date but obviously I don't really have room there and I don't want to cover it up because I don't want to wind up covering up the flowers so I'm just gonna put it down here and I think the other full box I will be able to pull into either the monthly spread or just like or the monthly notes page or just really any other um, page. I think I will be pretty easy to pull in some of the deco items. Not going on any trips, so I think I will just hang on to the rest of these, but this is it for the monthly view. So here is a look at the spread all filled out. I love how this turned out, and I was planning on doing a notes page with this video, but I wound up making it really simple, so it didn't really seem like I it was really worth it to do a notes page. I just used some leftovers from the kit to do some of these like accent marks, but this is basically just my way of keeping track of orders. So when they ship, I know to look out for them in my mailbox and to make sure I don't wind up missing them. So that is it for this month. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.